program is uh, a broad-based, uh, nationally accredited two-year diploma program in mining technology uh, that has a lot of broad-based support in uh, industry. Uh, graduates of our program are found uh, all over uh, Western Canada and beyond that in positions such as uh, mine manager or exploration manager, uh, quality control uh, technologist at quarries, uh, blasting technologist, environmental technologist, um, and business development uh, managers within exploration and mining companies here in Vancouver. Uh, the program itself is very broad based and uh, combines together academic instruction with uh, hands-on training uh, in a variety of fields such as geology, uh, mining engineering, environmental applications, exploration, surveying, uh, mineral processing and assaying. Well, we find that most of the students entering our program are uh, are those that are interested in the natural sciences and engineering as well as getting outdoors and working in non-traditional fields. We have students that uh, range from those coming right out of high school and uh, every year we certainly get a proportion that are right out of high school and, and they're well qualified to enter the program and we also get a fair number of students who come with some post-secondary background uh, whether it's one or two years or a degree and they're looking for a really practical hands-on program that will provide them with uh, direct employment opportunities upon graduation. Well one of the reasons why I thought mining would be uh, a good a good uh, program to get into is that I like the outdoors, you know, I like fishing and hunting and not stuck at a computer, you know, for, for nine to five for the rest of my life sort of thing. So. My preference is to be in small towns and out in the bush. Um, I spent a lot of my life hunting, fishing, uh, doing similar things. Um, I don't like dressing up. I don't like doing the girly makeup thing. So I figured that going into mining was a great, great way to get away from all of that stuff. I pretty much knew right out of high school that eventually I would be getting into the mining industry. Before I took BCIT's Mining Engineering Technology program, I uh, worked for local contractors on the mine site. My general interests are, you know, sciences, scientific relations of the world around us. My background is actually in oil and gas. When I came to BCIT to look at different schooling options because I, I didn't want to do general labor jobs anymore. Um, I wanted to move up a little bit faster than that was going to let me. Uh, I decided that mining was the best place for me to go um, to do the different things I want to do. I want to focus mostly on exploration and surveying too actually. I wanted something that incorporated surveying. I like being in the north and this is going to get me there. A friend of mine actually went to BCIT and uh took the mining technologist program and he enjoyed it and he recommended it to me. I figured it'd be good, a uh, good experience and he's, he's done quite well with his uh, technologist diploma so and uh, you can do, you can get good jobs out there, you don't have to be an engineer necessarily so. I like rocks obviously or I wouldn't be down here. Um, I'm also interested in, in actually designing and planning mines. The logistics of it uh, I find fascinating, there's a lot that has to go on in order to, to create a mine. The courses in general, we cover everything in mining. We do blasting, surveying, mine methods, uh, metallurgy, assaying. We, we pretty much cover everything, exploration, even the financial aspects of it, everything. I, I love it. I think it's, it's a great mix of, you know, general sciences as we're starting now, but as we go along, we're finding out more about the mining applications of every single thing that I knew before from chemistry to physics to now engineering which I've never had an experience of. And I think it's just a really nice encompassing program that we, they have set up here. It means that we've gone beyond just identifying a geological deposit but we've investigated it to the point at which we understand how to mine it, how to process it, the environmental implications, all of those economic factors to the point at which we say we can mine this at a profit. One of the advantages of being in a class that size is uh, you have, you know, you're one-on-one -on -one with the teacher a lot. You have plenty of time with them and uh, it's good. There isn't one class where I haven't had help one-on-one. -on -one. If it's in class or outside of class, they always make time for us. The program also uh, includes a component of uh, co-op education between the uh, first and second years of the two-year program and that co-op component 
is a four-month uh, paid job experience that we assist students with obtaining where they go out to, to mine sites, exploration camps, or uh, with a host of other companies and uh, obtain some valuable experience between the first and second years of the program. Right now we've got two mining uh, technology students from BCIT. Um, they're hired as well as a, a fair number of other students from different uh, disciplines and programs. A lot of jobs come up in the summer that um, need quite a few people to get them completed and they all just kind of go where, where they're needed. My tasks here include uh, general maintenance and cleanup in and around the mill um, as well as uh, giving tours to the public. For the last two or three months that I've been here we've also been um, lucky enough to be able to go around the site and uh, work with other departments. Um, I spent three weeks on a rotation where I was with uh, mine engineering, mine ops, um, the grinding and flotation circuits. BCIT prepared me very well. Uh, they taught me how a mine works, uh, the planning of a mine, and I really knew what I was getting into uh, when I came up here. When you're going to university, there's only that small window or college for, uh, for work experience. I mean, that's what you have to, you have to use to market yourself when you do graduate. But it's, uh, it's a lot of knowledge that can be gained about the mining industry and communication and working with, with groups. We find that the students from the BCIT program have worked real well for us. Uh, we know that they have a good program there and uh, we know that they have the ability to learn the types of things that we do. The students bring a lot of enthusiasm and uh, uh, you know some freshness to the uh, to the mix. I, I have all the same responsibilities and uh, full-time shift work 12 hours a day so it's uh it's a challenge, there's a lot of techniques. It took, a, it took about a month of training to get me up to speed. Uh, do you like your job? Yeah, I do, I do like my job. I, it's good people to work with, except for that guy over there, he's kind of a... <laughs> it's challenging and uh, you're busy all the time. I got my job here at Graymont through the school. Jobs were really easy to come by for a number of the students going through the co-op program. Everyone got well-paying jobs with good experience. He's worked for us for uh, two summers now. We've uh, really enjoyed his uh, having him here and he's been a great benefit to us. He comes with a lot of skills that we were able to use immediately here and it's been, I believe, very interesting for him to work here as well. I tend to do a lot of computer stuff and I've learned a lot about networking. And This year I'm solely doing safety stuff, stuff setting up training systems and making sure that our plant was in, within the requirements of the WCB and the Mines Act. I spend a lot of time in the plant and in the quarry. Since the mine is out here in Marble Canyon, I stay in Cache Creek. It's about 35 kilometers away, it's a small town, and I commute back and forth to the plant daily. We're always looking for uh, new people uh, to stay with the company even after their uh, uh, student uh, days are done, and uh, this gives us an opportunity to look at some young people and also uh, take advantage of their skills at the same time. I worked at uh, SK Creek Mine, which is up at Northern BC, and I actually got uh, the advantage of I got to go surveying with an underground crew for most of the summer. That was my primary job as a survey assistant. I, and I also got to see a lot of the engineering office, what uh, the engineers get to do on a daily basis, and uh, how they control um, the blasting patterns, how they control how much muck is coming out of a mine, how, what's waste, what's ore, where is it going, and I got to see all of that happening. Uh, we get paid just under $20 an hour. So I was able to finance my own schooling myself by working here. An important aspect of the program is uh, the field trips and uh, field schools that we have as part of this program. Uh, we're fortunate to have a bursary that's able to support the cost for field trips uh, for the students. And over the two years, we take a number of uh, field uh, trips to mines, uh, quarries and exploration programs uh, in the uh, local Vancouver area, in the interior of BC and over on the island. And we also, uh, at least once uh, for every group, uh, take a, an extended trip for a week or 10 days to uh, mining operations in the U.S. or elsewhere in Canada. We did everything. We surveyed there. We, you know, we were collecting samples, and you just do a lot of hands-on field work. And you, like I said, you get you get an idea of what what it's like to be in the mining industry and do these jobs. So. One of the main purposes of our field school is to give us information that we've collected, the data we've collected, 
which we will then use further on for a project which we will be uh, presenting. It's actually a year-long project. It's our main project for second year. We try to uh, prepare a, a feasibility report and uh, present it to industry professionals and professors from other universities just to try to show them that we've gained um, quite a broad knowledge of what it would take to open, run and maintain a feasible operation. We flew across Canada and we toured around northern Ontario to about half a dozen different mines. We also spent, went down to southern Arizona. We toured a number of mines throughout BC. So that was probably the most valuable thing to actually understand how a working mine works. Well, we find that most of the students entering our program are uh, are those that are interested in the natural sciences and engineering, as well as getting outdoors and working in non-traditional fields. If you want to be in mining, you have to be willing to travel and you have to be willing to go to remote locations. And, you know, you, you can't necessarily want to live in a big city. This operation here is one of the more high-tech in North America. And um, I was surprised when I got here to see just how much they rely and utilize um, brand new technology. I love my job, yep. I come to work every day very happy and uh, when I go home I feel very satisfied with what I've done here every day. Yep. I think I really like this job. I like the location. It's probably one of the most beautiful places I've been in. Uh, I really enjoy the workforce. It's been a real treat working with the local natives and learning from them, being able to spend time with them. I try to spend time out here in this valley. Uh, after work I'll go hiking and I'll go spend time with some of the guys that I work here with. I like to travel and see other countries and it's one of the, the few professions where you can go, you can actually go and live in other countries and work um, in mining technology. I think have a spirit of adventure and dedication, you have to be pretty dedicated. You have to love teamwork, you have to love high pace, production based industry, you have to love the earth that you're working with because you're using this land and you can't just take what you want out of it and leave it. You have to realize that it's only temporary. Graduates of the program have opportunities at mine sites, out in the field, in laboratories, uh, in remote camps, as well as in offices. And it's that sort of diversity of employment that really attracts people into the program. As graduates of the program uh, have lots of opportunities to uh, go on to, to further education. Uh, there's opportunities here at BCIT and some of our Bachelor of Technology programs such as in environmental applications or also to go on and complete an engineering degree in uh, mining engineering, uh, mineral process engineering or geological engineering. Possibilities for advancement are, are pretty good. There's going to be a lot of people leaving the industry soon and my ability here, things I'm here is going to get me there faster. I think once you finish the program the possibilities are really broad seeing how the program you're training in so many different areas. There's all types of areas you go into, uh, blasting, surveying, different mining, geology type jobs, exploration type jobs in the mining industry. I think the possibilities are really good for anyone that completes the program. Say if you go out and your first full-time job is as a survey assistant or a rod man for a chief surveyor or, or the general survey crew. Um, you'll probably be making, if you get a full-time contract, I, I would say a minimum of thirty-five dollars to $40,000 a year right off the bat. That's with just a standard mining technology diploma, very little experience. My ideal job in a mine site would eventually want to be um, some sort of management where I've worked my way through the years from the bottom like I am now and I do all the different jobs, learn everything that I could possibly know and eventually become the person that possibly runs the control room because they have to know everything about the mill or possibly even a mine manager. If you're looking for a challenge in a broad-based program with solid industry support and a diversity of opportunities upon graduation, then I think you should come and check us out at BCIT's Mining Technology Program.